Jared McCain's star is getting brighter and brighter. He's a winner, a five-star prospect, and even a bit of a social media celebrity. I mean, the drive just comes from my main goal, which is to make it to the NBA. I mean, that's been my goal since I was three years old when I first started playing basketball. When he gets to college, he's going to make a new dream board, which will almost certainly include getting to the NBA, as he's committed to the Duke Blue Devils. I like Jared McCain has really shown to be the alpha of this team. He has multiple 20-plus point games. And to me, he's becoming a certified lottery pick in this NBA draft. Although Jared McCain may seem like some fun-seeking college kid who makes viral TikToks and paints his nails, there is no denying that this kid can flat-out play. He's been one of the best freshmen in the nation this season and is climbing up NBA mock drafts with some analysts even projecting him to go in the lottery. While we know Jared was elite in high school, many questioned if he could make a serious impact as a freshman at one of the best programs in the country. But as his freshman season continues, he's only showing us more and more why he's more than just a viral TikToker. So we know Jared McCain can play, but how good is he? What will really set Jared apart as an NBA prospect? Well, to completely understand Jared's game, let's go back to how he even got to where he is today. As a junior in high school, he averaged 23 points, 6 rebounds, and 3 assists while leading his team to a state title. His performance his junior year led him to win the California Gatorade Player of the Year in 2022. In his senior year, he averaged 17 points, 7 rebounds, and 4 assists, and got selected to play in the 2023 McDonald's All-American Game. And guess what? He repeated as the California Gatorade Player of the Year, which has only been done by Evan Mobley and Drew Holiday since 2000. That's some high pedigree right there. Jared was not just any recruit, or any kid just fooling around on TikTok for that matter. He was the number one player in the state of California, ESPN's number 10 player in the class of 2023, and of course, a consensus five-star recruit. And on March 18th, 2022, he committed to Duke over Gonzaga, Kansas, and Houston. The Blue Devils were expecting big things from a player that was a McDonald's All-American game and gold medalist at the 2022 FIBA U18 Americas Championship. But with all the accolades and accomplishes, what was Jared really about? Why was Jared such a highly rated prospect? We all know Jared is a skilled and efficient guard, but where he really shines is his elite spot-up shooting. He's got a compact release on his jumper that is so smooth, and outside of just shooting the basketball, he plays with a high IQ and is even a very good shot creator. Sure, he can create some shots, especially with ball screens, but he's not just about offense. He's a sound defender and takes pride in his defensive effort. Heading to Duke, he came in being fundamentally sound with a high basketball IQ, an impressive three-point shot, and the potential to score at all three levels. Fans were excited to see how his high school dominance would translate to the highest level of college basketball. He made his debut on November 6, 2023 against Dartmouth. He dropped 8 points in just 15 minutes of action. A fairly good start with limited action, but here's where it gets exciting. Earlier in the season, Duke faced off against number 14 ranked Baylor. The Blue Devils were in danger of losing their second game this season against a top 25 opponent after their loss to Arizona in November. The pressure was on, but freshman Jared stepped up big time. In a 78-70 win, he tied his career high with 21 points and nailed three three-pointers. That win would go on to propel the Blue Devils on a five-game winning streak. Jared has shown continuous improvement as the season progresses, and his role expanded quickly when star guard Tyrese Proctor got sidelined with an ankle injury. Jared, now with an opportunity to play even more minutes, seized the opportunity as a full-time starter and has become a go-to guy for Duke. In fact, in three games without Proctor, Jared averaged 18.3 points and hit his career high in points twice during that stretch. His shooting, which was already good, became even better. He has been fantastic from beyond the arc, shooting 40% from three and 87% from the line. 
That type of shooting efficiency is what you see from experienced college vets, not true freshmen. It's safe to say that Jared McCain was making quite the entrance at Duke and seems to be polishing his game just in time to make that transition to the next level. Jared is a big reason for Duke's success along with Kyle Filipowski and Jeremy Roach, but we had a feeling Jared would shine once given the full opportunity. Jared put up an impressive 19.4 points per game during Duke's eight-game winning streak from earlier this year, including a standout performance against Syracuse where he dropped 18 points and made four three-pointers. The coaching staff at Duke knew they had something special when they recruited Jared. I mean, the guy was California's Gatorade Player of the Year for two straight seasons. But let's be real, getting to this level of play in college wasn't a walk in the park for Jared McCain. Like any freshman, he had his ups and downs. When Duke lost to Georgia Tech and Arkansas, Jared struggled, only scoring 11 points in both games combined. But even when Jared was in a funk, he bounced back even stronger. Jared dropped 21 points against Charlotte and then lit up again with another 21-point performance against Baylor at Madison Square Garden. And here's something interesting. After those tough losses, he decided to take a break from social media. Yeah, he has a huge following on TikTok, but he needed to block out the negativity and focus on his game, and it paid off big time. He responded to the rough stretch by hitting three or more three-pointers in each of his next five games, and even knocked down four three-pointers in back-to-back -back games. Looking at his true shooting percentage, an advanced statistic that captures a player's shooting from the field, from three, and from the line, he is sitting at an elite 62.5%. Jared's impressive shooting has been the real game changer for Duke. If he keeps knocking down shots at this rate, the Blue Devils are going to be a force to be reckoned with in March Madness. With all that veteran experience surrounding him, Jared's shooting becomes the ultimate X factor for Duke in many games. Going back to a recent game against North Carolina State, Jared went off, including a clutch four-point play that sealed the deal for Duke. That's the kind of performance that gets people talking. And while we know he's a volume catch-and-shoot scorer off the ball, he's been scoring and making shots off the dribble as well. Plus, he's flashed a very quick release with deep range, something that will translate to the NBA very well. And he's not just scoring at a high clip, he's been tenacious on the glass for a guard, averaging about five rebounds per game, and has even racked up multiple double-doubles this season. Jared also has excellent court vision and a nice handle, too. He can dish the rock and navigate through traffic like a pro. But what really has impressed fans the most about Jared is his composure and maturity on the court. He doesn't let his emotions dictate his game, and he approaches every play with joy and energy. He's highly confident and competitive, but he knows how to play aggressively without hogging the ball. That's the kind of teammate you want on your squad. Although, he's not exactly known for his explosiveness either, and he could work on driving to the rim more instead of relying solely on pull-up shots. And while Jared is a scoring machine, he's still learning how to contribute in other areas of his game. His size, athleticism, and scoring style might limit his projection as an off-ball guard in the NBA. But here's the thing, he's still young and evolving. He turned 20 in February of 2024, and if and when he's drafted, he's got plenty of time to refine his game and reach his full potential. And from his performances in college, he looks like he can quickly reach another gear in his game. In Duke's clash against Florida State on February 17, 2024, Jared not only broke records, but left everyone's jaws on the floor. He went off, making an insane eight three-pointers, a Duke freshman record. He also matched a school freshman record, dropping a cool 35 points, tying none other than Zion Williamson's legendary 35-point game against Syracuse back in 2019. He was practically a flamethrower in the first half, hitting seven three-pointers and shooting an insane 60% from the floor. And let's not forget to mention that he shot 8 for 11 from 3 in this game. That's crazy! Even the opposing coach, Leonard Hamilton, had to show praise to Jared. He was comfortable with their defense against Jared, but sometimes, as Hamilton put it, a player just has one of those nights where they can't miss, and Jared had exactly that. 
Jared looks to continue his hot streak heading into March and is looking to climb draft boards as his freshman season continues to get better and better each game. So let's backtrack to where this all started. How does Jared separate himself as a prospect? What is the consensus on Jared McCain? The clear separator and his biggest strength as an NBA prospect is his elite shooting. And while we know he is a prolific shooter, he shoots well off the catch or off the dribble and moves with good balance. He also has the ability to create his own shot in the mid-range. But even outside of just shooting, he has defensive upside despite being undersized and has the potential to impact the game on both ends of the floor. Jared's energetic playstyle is also admirable at the next level and is a guy that is willing to play whatever role is required to win games. So after hearing all about Jared McCain, let's hear it from you guys in the comments. Is Jared McCain still just a TikTok star, or has he proven to be a legit NBA prospect that can help an NBA team in the near future?